Your child has suffered an injury immediately following birth or during a vaginal birthing process. And now you're wondering, was this due to one of the nurses in the delivery room not following the proper chain of command to get help? Want to know what I'm getting at here? Stay with me as I share with you this very important information. Hello guys, I'm Marcus Boston and I'm a childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorney practicing law here in the state of Maryland. And I would like to quickly talk with you today about the role of the nurses, the labor and delivery nurses, the RNs in the room with you during a vaginal delivery. What are they there for? Well, the first and foremost thing for a nurse in this situation, their first concern is to their patient. It's to the mom and to the baby. It's not to anybody else in the room, but to the mom and the baby. And what can sometimes happen is that nurses can see things going wrong with the vaginal birthing process. And they may reach out to the doctor and let the doctor know. But for whatever reason, the doctor is pretty much brushing them off and continuing to do it the doctor's way. So let's say, for example, there are nurses in doing a delivery. And when the water breaks, the nurse notices heavy meconium. And the nurse may notice that this has been a very long delivery, a labor for the mother. And that the mother is having a lot of problems during this delivery. And this nurse has went about and noted in the records and has told the doctor of these things. Let's also add to this that maybe the fetal heart rate is really high, well over 165. The baseline is 165, 170, 180. And this is going on for a long a period of time. And the nurse, again, has told the doctor of all of these things. But the doctor is continuing to do everything the doctor's way, or the doctor is pretty much just brushing the nurse off to the side. That nurse in a situation like this has to remember that their duty is to their patient, to the mother and to the baby. And if the nurse needs to go over or the nurse needs to follow the appropriate chain of command to get help for that baby and for that mother, then the nurse has to do that. Because if the nurse does not do that, then there's a good chance that that child can suffer an injury. And especially if we're talking about a child where tachycardia is present, and you've had heavy meconium, the fetus may have been in distress during the process with the fetal heart monitor and everything like that. Again, if the nurse is not paying attention to these things, then again, we're looking at a possible serious injury to the baby, and we don't want that. So why have I taken the time today to talk with you about this, to help you get insight into this process, to help you understand that when you're going through labor and delivery, that that nurse that's in there with you, her, his or her duty is to, again, you as the patient and the baby, first and foremost. And if the doctor is not doing what the doctor is supposed to be doing in regards to treatment, then that nurse has a duty to follow the appropriate chain of command to get help. If you have more questions about your situation, and you may be watching this video right now because you have questions, maybe your child suffered an injury during the vaginal birthing process, and now you are wondering, is there anyone that you can talk to about what went wrong or what went on in your delivery room? If you have these questions, this is what I invite you to do. Pick up the phone and give me a call. I could be reached at 301-850-4832, or if you prefer, you can send me an email to medicalinjury at bostonlawllc.com. I answer Maryland childbirth injury and medical malpractice questions like yours all the time, and I'll be glad to take some time to listen to your story. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's quick educational video. Again, I'm Marcus Boston, and I'm one of the childbirth injury and medical malpractice attorneys here at Boston Law Group, LLC, and we will see you next time. Guys, take care and enjoy the rest of your day.